can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. If a plus b equals to the square root of 13 and a minus b equals to the square root of 5, then what is the value of ab multiplied by a squared plus b squared? You can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. Alright, so our goal is to evaluate this expression AB multiplied by A squared plus B squared. Given these two equations, of course, one way to answer this question is to solve for the value of A and to solve for the value of B. This is very easy. So to solve for the value of A, what we're going to do is to add these two equations. The reason is when we add these two equations, B cancel out. So this turns out to be 2A equals to square root of 13 plus square root of 5. Now, if we divide both sides by 2, we get the value of A. So, the value of A is simply equal to square root of 13 plus square root of 5 all over 2. Alright, so let's set aside the value of A on this side. Now, let's solve for the value of B. So, what we're going to do to solve for the value of B, instead of adding, we need to subtract the second equation to the first equation. The reason is this A becomes a negative A, this B becomes positive, and this square root of 5 becomes negative, and this becomes addition. If we simplify this, a and negative a cancel out. So this turns out to be 2b equals to square root of 13 minus square root 5. And the value of b, if we divide both sides by 2, we get that the value of b must be equal to square root of 13 minus square root of 5 all over 2. So again, let's set aside the value of b. Now take note that we want to evaluate this expression right here that is equivalent to AB multiplied by A squared plus B squared. So what we're going to do is to multiply the value of A to the value of B multiplied by the square of this number plus the square of this number. Yikes! Then we get the product of those two. Maybe there's another way to answer this kind of question. So. Here is the other way to solve this kind of question. First, let's focus on the first equation and let's square on both sides. Why we do that, we will see later on. Now, a plus b raised to 2, this can be written as a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And square root of 13 raised to the power of 2 is just simply equal to 13. Now, notice, we want ab because we also have ab in the expression that we want. And we also have a squared plus b squared on the expression that we want to evaluate. So maybe this method is less stress than the first one. So now let's get the second equation and let's do the same thing. Let's square on both sides. Now the left hand side, a minus b in quantity squared, this can be written as a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. And square root of 5 raised to the power of 2, this is just 5. Now, let's focus on these two equations. This time, take note that when we add these two equations, we cancel out positive 2ab and negative 2ab. It turns out to be a squared plus a squared or 2a squared plus 2b squared. So this can be written as 2 multiplied by a squared plus b squared because we have 2a squared and 2b squared. Now, on the right-hand side, 13 plus 5 will give us 18. Now, our goal is to solve for the value of a squared plus b squared. So, let's divide both sides by 2. And 18 divided by 2, this is just 9. Now, let's set aside the value of a squared plus b squared. We know this is equal to 9. Next, instead of adding these two equations, why not subtract these two equations? Now, what will happen if we subtract them? a squared cancel out. b squared also cancel out. And 2ab minus negative 2ab, it turns out to be 4ab. And 13 minus 5, this turns out to be 8. 
And we can now solve for the value of AB. If we divide both sides by 4, we get that the value of AB must be equal to just 2. Now, we have the value of A squared plus B squared is equal to 9. And we also have the value of AB equals to 2. So, we can now easily evaluate AB multiplied by A squared plus B squared. Because we know this AB is 2. And this A squared plus B squared is just 9. So, this expression is simply equal to just 2 times 9. And 2 times 9 is simply equal to 18. And that is the answer to this question. So if a plus b equals the square root of 13 and a minus b equals the square root of 5, then the value of ab multiplied by a squared plus b squared must be equal to 18. And as always, we are done.